Toga Nut Collectibles here for an action figure review. Today we are looking at the 2021 Marvel Select Immortal Hulk. In this review, I will discuss the comic book background of this figure and the basis of the robotic head. I will do some size, weight, and height comparison as well. He comes in the standard huge Marvel Select packaging. As per right up in the back, the figure is based on the Ali Wing in Joe Bennett's The Immortal Hulk, an ongoing series which started in 2018. The leaflet inside gets a much needed 2021 update showcasing the new Marvel Select figures. And some from the Disney Store exclusive as well. Comparing it to the old leaflet which shows the older Marvel Select figures and some of the mini mates. The first issue of the Immortal Hulk opens with a quote which says, Man is, on the whole, less good than he imagines himself or want to be. In a petrol convenience store, Sandra, a 12-year-old kid, is inside. Bruce Banner was also there. Unfortunately, a bank robbery happens with Tommy holding the gun towards the cashier. It goes out of hand and Sandra got shot dead. Bruce reacting to what happened was also shot dead by Tommy. Back in the morgue, the dead body of Bruce Banner rises as the Incredible Hulk. Hulk hunts down Tommy and Tommy started to beg for his life because he said it was all a mistake. For the monster, there is no justification for the murder done. He hands down his brand of justice upon Tommy. Later on, Bruce stares at a mirror where the Hulk looks back at him. The Hulk comes with an alternate head. Removing the head, here we have the double dumbbell joint, which is good for articulation. Attaching the robotic head, which has a great head sculpt with great detail in terms of exposing the mechanical parts. The facial expression is more of the angry but not shouting type. In terms of the Robot Hulk, I saw this particular version in the 2006 Sentinel Squad 1. Val Cooper, which during the 90s is the government liaison to X-Factor, used a Robot Hulk to test Sentinels. A sentinel fires away at Hulk, removing the flesh skin of the robot. Since the sentinel saw another robot, they hesitated to action further. Robot Hulk took advantage, tear one of the sentinel's arm, and use it to decapitate the three sentinels. The Marvel Select Hulk comes with a pair of closed fist hands, which is a way to express his power, which is punching especially against his nemesis, the Abomination. He also comes with a pair of open palm hands. So in terms of hands, we have a complete set of hands. The figure stands 24.2 centimeters or 9.5 inch tall. According to the 1991 Impel trading card, he is listed at 7 feet tall. The height of the Hulk does vary depending on the artist. Usually he is drawn bigger than 7 feet tall. Here are some Marvel Legends comparison, beginning with Wolverine and the Retro Spider-Man. Karma and Phoebe Cuckles. Warpath and Cable. The build of figure Armadillo and Wendigo. Here we have him beside Maestro. In my Maestro review, I highlighted that when the arm is bent 90 degrees, the elbow is obviously left behind in the upper arm. Unlike the Marvel Select, the elbow looks more natural and well sculpted. Putting them side by side, you can see the big improvement that Gentle Giant has done for this Marvel Select figure. Maestro shares the same body as the 80 years Marvel Legends Hulk and the other hulks after. Removing Maestro head, you can see it shares the same double dumbbell joint. The Marvel Select head is really big compared to the body of the Marvel Legends. And one obvious thing that you can see, the colors do not match. Here we have him beside the McFarlane Toys mega figure Violator and the 16 inch tall Marvel Legends Sentinel. Here we have some Marvel Select comparison beginning with 
Spider Woman and Venom 7 inch scale, Gambit and Rogue, Psylocke and Sabretooth, Magneto and Colossus, Thor and Sandman, Rhino and Hulkbuster. In terms of weight, the figure is 0.77 kilograms or 1.7 pounds. Here we have him beside the other Marvel Select Hulks. The Incredible Hulk and the 2012 Hulk Unleashed. The 24cm tall Hulk Unleashed is 0.56 kg. Surprisingly, the 24.5cm The Incredible Hulk almost weighs the same as the Immortal Hulk at 0.79 kg. Here we have him beside the Marvel Select Abomination and the Juggernaut. In terms of weight, the Abomination weighs at 1.17 kg, which is my heaviest Marvel Select figure, and he is 23 cm tall. In terms of articulation, his head can move from side to side. He can look up that much and look down more. His arms can extend that far. The sculpt work of his muscle prevents a little bit. He has a bicep swivel, he has a single jointed elbow which is seamless and better looking than the Marvel Legends one. His wrist can swivel, can hinge forward and back. He has a upper torso swivel right here which helps him to hinge forward and back. He comes with a waist swivel as well and he gets swiveled right there. He comes with double jointed knees. His feet can hinge forward and back. He also has a upper thigh swivel. With the bright green color, this figure leaps out of the comic book panels into an action figure. In terms of accessories, having the robot head is a bonus but I hope they gave a similar normal looking head scope for the Hulk. A somewhat angry but not shouting or probably just a neutral head scope. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do share, like, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell.